we've done lots of testing. Lots and lots of testing. And the entire purpose was to find issues with the armor system, specifically so players could avoid them or find workarounds for them. But also was hoping for a side benefit of shedding some light on this stuff to help BSG track it down and hopefully patch and fix them sooner than later. Unfortunately, after all of this testing, the only thing I'm sure of at this point is the armor system as a whole appears to be in a mess. Hey folks, welcome to the channel and my video covering the extensive testing the community as a whole has done on this armor system. It's brand new with patch 14 and with that means it's got plenty of bugs, uh, misunderstandings and issues like that to sort through. I personally have done nearly a hundred co-op raids going through testing various things. We've looked at armors, dozens of different kinds of plate combinations, ammo, and various situations that could lead to weird outcomes. I've also watched hours upon hours of other people's streams and videos that have done testing, I've read more Reddit threads than I care to admit to, and perused tons of discords trying to track down specific issues to test and look at. But before we get any further, I want to thank a couple of specific folks that helped a ton in this. Tower, Peanut, Scoobs, Liston, Morny, Gubis, and Noath were instrumental in helping me test this and do this stuff. They gave up hours of their time to help us figure it out. And I do mean us, it isn't just me, it is the community as a whole. So if you see those guys around, if you see them in chat or in my stream, make sure you say thank you to them for their help. Now, if you wanna see this testing for yourself, we did most of it on stream. I'll throw links down in the description below. You can go check it out. If you can watch through it, you can pick through it. You can see if we did something wrong or something you didn't like. It's all there for you to view, open source, however you wanna talk about it. Now, there is some stuff I did off stream just because of the long hours and we'd get last minute ideas and it's just quicker to do it but we did video most of it. I also have a video I've already done that talks about the armor system as a whole. And if you haven't seen that yet, you probably need to go watch it because there's some topics in here that you might not understand if you haven't seen that video yet. Now, the first bug we're gonna talk about is probably the most important one, at least in relation to the impact on the player base. And it's not one that I found myself. In fact, in my attempts to verify this bug, I actually ruffled some feathers on folks trying to dig for information and see videos and stuff of this. So if you are one of those folks, I apologize, but know that it was only done out of an attempt to clarify and make sure that the story was correct and everything was right. It's super important right now because there are some really bad or incorrect theories out there. And we're going to do our best to correct those and clear everything up in this video. So the biggest bug has to do with the press armor. Right now, this armor ignores any front plates or right plates that are inserted in it. I'm gonna pull all this out right now. So front plates and right plates, do not exist in this armor, even if you put them in there. I tested five different plates in these various slots. None of them work. Every bullet fired would go right through the plate, hit the air mid, and damage the player, obviously, if it was a high enough damage round. But it did no damage to the front plate or the right plate if you shot those areas. This presents itself in a very interesting way, actually, and it is in this armor area's spot. As you can see here, right now, we've got stomach, thorax, lower back, upper back, left side, right side, neck, throat. Those don't change even if I pull these plates out. But watch what happens when I put a back plate in here, we now get back plate that shows up. And if I put this side plate on the left plate, we get left plate. But as soon as I put a chest plate in here, we do not get chest plate. And that is different from other armors. If you look here, you have front plate, sorry, not chest plate. You have front plate, F plate. That is how it represents in every other armor I could look at and test. And that's what I'll say right now. I can't test every armor. I don't have everything unlocked, but going through and looking at them, I did not see this issue appear anywhere else, but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. So if you see it, make sure you let us know so we can get the word out. So that's that's pretty much it. It's left plate or it's front plate and right plate do not show up on the press armor. So pretty much don't use this armor. There's no reason to. There is however, a good alternative, though a little bit more expensive and harder to get a hold of. It is actually better than the press armor uh, in many ways, coverage and how much durability it has and it can put in plates just like the press armor can as far as you know putting class four or even class five plates in it. and that's the carasa it's available on loyalty level two ragman it might be behind a task i'm not sure or it's on the flea market for not a, a, a ton of money you don't have to buy these fresh ones you can buy ones that are kind of beat up um, and get them a little bit cheaper but they are there and they're not too bad buy one of those same kind of deal here you can open these plates off and put halfway decent plates um, in the front of this these are only class threes but all the way up to some of these class fours, I don't have any handy right now, but you can put class fours and fives in here. All you gotta do is link search and go look through and find the plates that you can buy on the flea or from traders. Now for that little tip, all I ask for is a like on the video, a comment down below, perhaps even a subscribe if you haven't done that yet. It's a few simple and free things that you can do that help me out a ton, shows YouTube you like this content, 
and shows me you like it so I can do more of it. But enough begging, let's get back to the, let's get back to the video. Now this armor info box, armor area, me looking through all the other armors led me to a nether bug that I was really worried was actually worse, um, but actually ends up being beneficial to the player base. It specifically has to do with most armored rigs, not all of them, but a lot of them. So if you go look, armored rigs, they have potential armor as well, right? Front plate, black plate. And depending on, not all of them, but most of them have chest inserts and back inserts as well for armor, class two, sometimes class three. But if you go to the armor areas, all you see is front plate and back plate. Now this made me think, oh my God, the Aramid's just getting ignored because you're not seeing the same as you do here where you see thorax, stomach, upper back, lower back, you know, all of these other things, you're not seeing that on here. Well, what we did is we pulled the plates out to test it. And what we discovered was actually something really cool. The Aramid actually acts like hard plates, not soft plates. Now, again, for a more detailed explanation, let's go check out my video I did before, but long story short, Hard plates stop blunt damage. If they stop the bullet, no blunt damage gets through. Soft plates, which are these inserts, soft armor aramid usually, they do carry blunt damage. So even if they stop the round, you're still gonna get some damage carried through based on the ammo and some other crazy uh, calculations. But in testing this, what we realized this aramid acts like hard armor. If it stops the round, no blunt damage gets through. Now this only happens if you see this where it says front plate, back plate. There are plates and I'll go into the handbook. You can look at armor this way. If you didn't know that, you can come in here. We'll go look at tactical rigs. There are that don't display like this. The M1 rig is, for example, as you can see, it has stomach, thorax, lower back, upper back, left side, right side, and then front plate and back plate it has those differentiated. This does not work like that. But if you go all the way down and let's go look at say the TV 115, this is popular on rogues. It does see it as front plate and back plate. It only has this chest and this back armor it acts the same way. And even better, when you put the plates back in there, they register, they act normal, it acts as if plates are there. So what ends up happening is you end up having two layers of hard armor almost. Now, this isn't a huge deal because rigs aren't the best coverage. They don't cover as much as some of the other armors. So I don't think they're as good, but if you are using these, there are instances with certain bullets where this is going to prevent, you know, five, six, sometimes even 10 points of damage on a shot that it normally wouldn't if that was soft armor or calculated like soft armor. So like I said, this is a bug that actually helps out if you're using those, so keep that in mind. Now the next bug is a little less nailed down, but we saw it repeatedly enough that it's worth bringing up and pointing out. With higher penetration ammo, we repeatedly saw square on chest hits go through the chest plate, go through the aramid of the chest plate, damage the player, then damage the rear removable plate. However, it did not damage the rear aramid. And this didn't happen every time. There is some other variable we couldn't quite nail down, but it did happen more than half the time we tested it. This does not happen in reverse though. At least we never saw it. Back shots that penetrated the plate also went through the aramid and damaged the player, but did not damage the front plate. There didn't seem to be anything that could prevent this. So it's more of just a warning so that you know what is happening when you see it. Now the next really crazy thing we saw happened with what I call specialty steel plates. These are the kind of non-universal plates that only fit specific armors. It's things like this diamond shaped, shaped 6B33 uh, that goes in 6B armors or the Zucks, as well as the 6B13 armor, uh, which is this one right here, which only goes in this 6B23 armor. As we wore down the durability on these plates and we got to where the shot that sent it to zero durability, if the removable plate didn't stop that final round, which it did sometimes, that round would ignore the aramid on that shot only and damage the player. We saw it do this nearly 20 different times in about 30 tests. It's not a rare incident. It's a common incident as long as the, the above the before mentioned conditions are met. Now, again, there's not really anything you can do about this other than not run those armors, but it's just a weird thing I wanted to point out and show you that was happening because it kind of builds up to where I'm going to get to at the conclusion of this video. Now, the last topic here isn't necessarily a single bug, but more of a severe overarching issue. Through the testing, we came across a series of various bugs that interacted in different ways were difficult to repeat 100% of the time, but showed up enough to know that they weren't just one-offs and they weren't weird. And they show up when you start pushing this, ar this new armor system to its boundaries, which makes the whole system kind of break down in this nonsensical fashion. Now, again, these things aren't completely random because we are able to make them happen repeatedly, but we have not been able to nail down enough variables to make them happen every time. So I just want to make sure that we're clear on that, that we don't have these totally figured out but they are important and they need to be known by everybody. And again, hopefully it'll help BSG figure out how to fix them. Now, part of this issue is because there is inherently randomness built into these systems. Penetration, damage, fragmentation all have dice rolls associated with them. 
But these issues exist outside of those dice rolls. They're a product of them, but they're not because of them, I guess is the best way to put it. We repeatedly not only saw class four plates completely stop 60 and 70 pen ammo, like stop, stop, no damage to the character. But on the flip side, we also watched instances where that same ammo, SNB and M993, would one shot a character, which in the past hasn't been possible because they don't do enough damage. That was unless you were AI sniper, but that's a bug for another video and hopefully a previous wipe. We'll see. Now, this isn't just on class four plates. It was just, that was where we saw it consistently enough that we could test it repeatedly and get good results. There are a few instances where class threes did this as well, the class three steel plates, but I only saw it happen twice with my own eyes and that's in a few hundred tests. So while it's not impossible, it's such a small amount that I don't think it is super important. It does fit in with the bigger picture, but I, we didn't get into great detail with those. But with the class four plates, we saw 14 different instances with the 6B33 plates specifically, just these plates, where they completely stopped SNB or M993. Now, for those of you who don't know, 993 has 70 pen, SNB has 62. This should not be possible. Now, one interesting fact is, is the only time this ever happened was on a fresh plate and it always zeroed the plate. Every time it stopped all of the damage, the plate was zeroed. In converse with that, the only time we ever saw somebody get one shot, one round of 993 kill the player or SNB kill the player was when the plate was already damaged. And with that, a partially damaged plate never stopped one of those rounds. We did see a couple of instances where the damaged plate would reduce the damage and pen of the M993 or the SNB enough to where the soft armor would actually catch the bullet which this is, we're talking class two soft armor, and it would do blunt damage, but it will only do like 10 damage. And again, that's something that should not be happening, at least on how I understand of the armor system and the calculations, which they've obviously changed. This was super rare though, so don't hang your hat on that. It's not something that happened a lot. It was just a very interesting thing we saw that just leads to some weird conclusions with how the armor system functions, what its equations are, the sequence of events that it goes through with individual bullet, Nothing that I can completely pin down without seeing the equation, which I probably never will. Uh, but I've got some assumptions that I'm not quite ready to share yet uh, without more testing, especially on higher end armor. And this test did scale up to five and six, uh, class five and six plates. We did see similar results. The problem is, is we can't test it at scale. I only have a couple of class five and six plates, um, and we were only able to wrangle up a few of them between all the players we had. And with the time it takes to get people into the raid, into the co-op and do the test and reset, we were only able to get like four tests done every like maybe 15 minutes, maybe 20. So it just takes forever to do it versus the class four plates where we could do, I wanna say we were doing 12 or 15 tests every 20 minutes. So we were able to just hammer through the tests much faster. So as I get higher leveled up and I get more money and more stash space, cause that was actually a problem with trying to do this earlier. Uh, we'll be able to do more tests and test this stuff further. Plus, once BSG starts patching stuff and changing stuff, we're gonna need to redo testing anyways to verify that it's working and find any new bugs. Before we get done, keep in mind, it's not all doom and gloom. We did get some really good information about uh, plate materials, the armor types, the coverage stuff, durabilities to certain kinds of ammos, all of that stuff. We got a ton of data on that and it's consistent, it's repeatable. It's just a lot to pour over. And I'm still compiling that and we'll do another video talking all about that here shortly. Pretty much I'll start on it once I get done with this one. So just make sure you're subscribed because then you'll see it as soon as I drop it. Subscribe with that little notification bell. And if it's late enough, just check out the end of the video. There'll be a little card. I'll make sure to put it there so you can go right to that if you wanna watch it. Now, before I wrap up, I just wanna plug my music real quick. It's free, but it still supports me as a content creator. I make it in partnership with Loy of Records and it's not just for folks to listen to. It's for content creators as well. We made it with the intent for it to be free for everybody to use. So you can use it in your YouTube videos or on your Twitch streams or YouTube streams, wherever, and not have to worry about DMC takedowns or copyright strikes or screwing up your VODs or anything like that. All we ask is that you attribute us so that folks are watching your content. They know where to find the music if they like it. But that's all I have. Thank you guys for sticking through the whole video. I really do hope it was helpful. And as always, I wish you the best of luck in your raids and we'll see you in Tarkov.